What's up Lions? Happy Blue and Gold Friday. Today is Friday, May 19th. Lions, it is prom night. That's right Lions, tonight is our annual promenade and prom. The promenade will kick off at 5 p.m. right here in the GHS Auditorium and is open to the public. So grab your family and friends and come check out all of our juniors and seniors as they will be on stage in the spotlight and dressed to impress. On top of all of that, we closed out another week of the school year, leaving us with only 15 days left and five of them are half days. With all of that being said, let's get to your Lions news. What's up Lions? Chick and I are back. And as you all know, it is prom week here at GHS. So in honor of that, we decided to bring you some interesting prom facts to get you ready for tonight's festivities. Elgorms, did you know that Mr. Petrangelo's all-time favorite U.S. President, John F. Kennedy, once attended a prom in California in 1963? While it was not intentional, the prom and JFK's campaign event were double booked and took place in the same room. After being moved to a different room, he was able to hold his re-election event and even took the time to stop by the prom and even dance to a few songs. Well, that's a lot more than Mr. P did at his GC prom. He's a weird dude. But guess what? The average high school girl usually tries on over 10 dresses before she finds the perfect one. What's even crazier is these days, prom nights cost an average of $1,139 for those ladies. After getting the dress, accessories, shoes, limousine, hairs, makeup, nails, and prom tickets. Yo, that's crazy, but did you know Christina Aguilera danced to her own hit song at her senior prom? That's right, she released a hit song, Genie in a Bottle, in early May, and by the time her prom kicked off, it was the number one song on the U.S. charts. And obviously, it was a huge hit at her prom, too. Wait, for real? That's really wild. Anyways, in 1975, President Ford's daughter requested for her high school senior prom to be held at, in the White House. To date, it is one of the rarest events to happen in the White House history. 74 seniors and their dates attended the first and only White House prom, which ended at 1 a.m. However, even though they were right down the hall, pres the President and First Lady bummed out and didn't make an appearance. Alright, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Enjoy the promenade, prom, and prom weekend. Until next week, go, go Lions! As you know, this year's A Walk in the Clouds Junior Senior Prom is tonight from 7 to 11 p.m. at Aletto's Catering in Defford. The promenade will take place in the GHS Auditorium from 5 to 6.30 p.m. This is free and open to the public, so make sure to come out and see our juniors and seniors dressed to impress. For all of our juniors and seniors heading to tonight's prom, a professional photographer will be in the media center taking formal photos during the promenade. Picture packets are available in room D7A. And one important reminder for everyone attending this year's prom, you must enter prom by 7.30 p.m. and cannot leave any earlier than 10.30 p.m. Hope you are all ready to dance the night away and have another memory-filled time at prom. See you all tonight, Lions! Yo, 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 Lions! Your boy, Jeff. And Gino, here to bring you some more Lions birthday shout-outs. This week, we had Coral Davison, Brianna Costello, Johnny Gerber, Sin Juan, Jeremy Hughes, and Joshua Jacobs. Today, we have Seth McCormick. And over the weekend, we have Adrian Lifstead, Audrey Harding, Emma Coffin, Ava Rogers, and Ian McCallan. Happy birthday, Lions. Lions. We hope it's the best birthday of your life so far. All right. Have the best prom ever, Lions. Enjoy the weekend, and until next week, peace. What's up, guys? Junior here with another round of jokes, and since tonight is the junior-senior prom, we thought we'd give you some prom-themed jokes to get you in the spirit. You ready? Here we go. Why did the raisin take a prune to the prom? Because he couldn't find a date. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't the skeleton go to prom? He had no body to go with. <laughs> Who did Frankenstein take to his prom? His ghoul friend. <laughs> Alright, Lions, that's all the jokes I got for this week. Enjoy the prom, Lions. Gambaloni out. What's up, Lions? Ryan Aiden here with your prom weekend weather report. That's right, Ryan. It's prom night, Lions. And the weather is going to be perfect for all tonight's festivities. Yup, today will be sunny with a few clouds and temps will be in the low 70s. Now Saturday is looking pretty cloudy and rainy, but Sunday, the rain is out of here. And sunshine will return and the temps will be on the rise. Alright, that's going to do it for your prom weekend weather report. Be sure to swing by the JHS Auditorium this evening to see me and all my classmates at tonight's promenade. Enjoy the weekend and until our next episode, peace, peace out, out doggies. doggies. Emma B here with your Lions Sports Update. 
The Lady Lions softball team went 2-0 since we last saw you. First, they beat West Stepford with Hannah Ski, Ava Rogers, and Kaylin Zierfoss, all contributing two hits. And this week's birthday girl, Coral Davidson, played the game of her life at the plate and in the field, and Olivia George earned the win on the mound. In their second matchup in our rivalry game of the week, the Lady Lions crushed crosstown rival Gloucester Catholic 11-1. Chloe Ty pitched her best game all season. Ava Rogers had a huge day at the plate with two hits and four RBIs. Kayla Zierfoss also contributed with three hits. Congrats to the Lady Lions and best of luck in the playoffs next week. The boys and girls track teams had an incredible day at the Camden County Championships. The boys brought home 55 points, earning them the most points ever scored by GHS App Counties since the meet began in 1978. Special congratulations to Ryan James, who scored 17 points by himself, finishing in the top 10 in the high jump, pole vault, and triple jump. Leo Curran, who broke his own school record again in the 110 hurdles. Cameron Harris, who broke her own school record in the 400 meter dash. The boys 4x400 team of Caden Harris, Marcus Flagg, Leo Curran and Jaden Garris, who broke their own school record again, and the girls' 4x400 team of Emily Murrow, Maya Beringer, Cameron Harris, and Haley Miller for breaking the school's 4x400 girls' record. And finally, Justice Dolson for winning first place in the Javelin and qualifying for nationals with a throw of 156 feet and 6 inches. Best of luck to the Lions track and field teams as they will move on to the Haddonfield Invitational. And we also want to send a huge congratulations to senior Chris Ruz Ruggieri as he has etched his spot in the 100 Hits Club. Chris is the first Lion since 2005 to achieve this huge mark. Congratulations Chris and welcome to the record books. Alright Lions, that's it for your sports update. Enjoy your prom weekend and go Lions! All right, Lions, that's going to do it for this episode. We hope to see you all tonight at the Promenade. Enjoy prom weekend, get outside, and don't blink because there's only two more weekends left of this school year. Till next week, go Lions.